With spring break already underway in Duval County and other parts of the state, some families may opt for a staycation because they're concerned about what's going around. There's still plenty to do locally to avoid that cabin fever. News for Tax reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. Ashley Mosh is taking steps to protect visitors while also encouraging them to visit and have fun. That is true, Jen and Bruce. Good morning to you both. Yes, when we went to Mosh to go do our interview yesterday, we were immediately greeted with an elbow bump instead of a traditional handshake. That's not all they're doing. They're doing more cleaning, and they've also closed some of the exhibits. They say they really do need to be careful. They're taking those precautions, especially with camp going on right now. From the outside, Jacksonville's Museum of Science and History is all business. Indoors, imagination runs wild. With roughly 60 kids enrolled in spring break camp and families coming through the door. Mosh isn't taking chances with coronavirus. Keeping surfaces clean much more regularly than we normally do. Uh, limiting the travel of staff. Eddie Whistler is Mosh's vice president of education services. He showed us how signs have been posted inside restrooms reminding people to wash their hands the right way. One of the most noticeable changes is right up front. The kids space is closed for the time being, along with a few other exhibits. We've closed kids space so that we can focus our attention in the public areas that are a little bit uh, that have smooth surfaces and are easy to clean. Mosh is all about touch and feel. Whistler says they're also making sure campers stay on track with good habits. Proper sanitation practices in terms of hand washing and, um, and in terms of covering sneezes and coughs and all those kinds of things that the CDC is definitely being focused on at this point. This way, little minds can wander freely, but safely. And Whistler tells me again those exhibits will remain closed until they are given the OK to lift them. He also says in the meantime, he encourages families to come out. Just be careful, wash your hands and stay clean. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.